Well guys, thanks for watching. So today's adventure is the Agua Fria National Monument. We just got back actually from an ATV ride, so this intro clip is actually going to be uh, at the end of the ride. Uh, so today's ride, which you're about to see, was about 78 miles. Uh, we stopped off at a, uh, an old cabin, it was like an old rancher's cabin. And then we uh, drove back uh, to a uh, sheep bridge called the Birdie River Sheep Bridge. It was built in 1943 um, to uh, get sheep across, about 11,000 sheep to be exact. While there, um, we had some uh, grad students, PhD students from a, uh, a university. I'm not going to say which university because they were kind of embarrassed by this, um, so I'm not going to not going to embarrass them, but they uh, they got their uh, truck stuck in the sand and a uh, big F-250 pickup truck. And uh, they're spending five days back here studying the local uh, plant life uh, for their thesis. And uh, so we spent about an hour and a half trying to get them unstuck. Um, you know, trying to get them unstuck with an ATV, big F-250 was just, uh, just impossible. So we weren't able to do it. Um, but they're back here for the next few days, so um, I'm sure somebody will come along to uh, get them unstuck. But uh, so it's a good trip, good adventure. Thanks for watching, and uh, enjoy the rest of the video. Bye. Okay guys, we stopped here for a break. Uh, the ATV is parked on the other side of that hill and we just kind of walked up this road. Um, we stopped here at this old cabin. Uh, we have two books uh, with us about this area um, and uh, neither book really gives a good history of, uh, of this cabin. Actually, neither one really talks about it at all. I mean, they have pictures of it, but they don't really say when it was built or um, why it was built or who built it so our, our only guess is uh, a rancher built it you can see it's just beautiful area um, what's neat is the uh, inside uh, first we got some old uh, cow skulls and go in um, hopefully it shows up you can got you got a fireplace right there. So got the uh, the stove. You can see there's some graffiti and stuff. This is pretty cool. I, I would like to know more about it. Um, who built it? Why they built it? It's old, but it's not that old, you know. Um, my guess is early. I want to take a guess and say maybe 19... Say 1920s. That's what I was thinking, 1920s. Metal roof, but starting to rust stuff. Yeah, yeah, I was thinking the same thing, 1920s. Um, this room right here has been trashed out, which is sad. So I'm not going to go in there, but uh, it's amazing how much stuff is out here in Arizona. All of the abandoned mines and ghost towns and Indian ruins and whatnot. So pretty cool. Uh, we should be to Sheep's Bridge uh, soon. So here's one last look at the, at the cabin. All right guys, quick update. We're almost to the bridge. It's uh, down there. We'll be there in a moment. guys we made it here it is so this bridge you're looking at is actually a replica 
the original bridge is right here. It was built in 1943 by the Flagstaff Sheep Company. Uh, they had 11,000 sheep um, that wintered on the other side, um, and that's why they built the bridge. Uh, the bridge itself was added to the uh, National uh, Registry of Historic Places in 1978. And by 1988, um, the bridge had gotten, the original bridge, had gotten uh, too bad of condition to uh, uh, to be used. So the Forest Service uh, built this bridge as a replica. So again, this was built in 1943. Um, they used uh, hand tools and um, salvaged material, and they brought it in by mule. This is amazing. Today the bridge is used by hikers. There's some hiking trails on the other side. Um, you do need a four-wheel drive to get back here. There's some points that are pretty rocky. This river is called the Verde River. And it flows year-round. drop my camera <laughs> so the mountains you see off that way are the Mazatzo Mountains, the Mazatzo Wilderness. Um, I've done a fair amount of hiking in those mountains, and uh, I did a backpacking trip there a few years ago with my brother. Um, that's a rough, rough area, very rugged, very mountainous, and very, uh, very remote. So here's another shot of the Verde River. It's a beautiful river. And as you know, Verde is uh, Spanish for green, and it does have a very green uh, color to it. Looks like there is a uh, Arizona state flag up here. That's a uh, Arizona state flag. I don't know why that's there. This is pretty neat. First time here. Uh, I've been uh, to the Agua Fria monument before and I've been to all the Indian ruins as I said in the uh, opening clip. I've done a fair amount of exploring in the area but I've never been to uh, this bridge. This is the first time I've ever seen this. This is pretty cool. I don't know how they did it but somebody put a rope out here to swing off those rocks. You can see those rocks down there. They swing off the rocks into the water. Now that would be fun to do. But here's the question, how did they get the rope out onto that cable? I know. They walked out there on that rock, tied it on, threw the rope over, and they went down there, slid it across. Oh, that's smart. So they went out there, threw it across, slid it over. Oh, there's a big turtle. Look at the size of that turtle. That turtle is huge. I'm gonna see if I can... It's a giant turtle. See that turtle? Wow, he's big. That is a big turtle. Alright. Some rapids over there.
Yeah, so this is uh, there's a bunch of hiking trails to go off this way. Uh, the town of Cave Creek isn't too far. It's over that way. And uh, I've done a lot of exploring of Indian ruins in that area. Oh, here's some good pictures. This probably isn't showing up. Like I said in the, a few minutes ago that they had 11,000 sheep. You can see all the sheep crossing the bridge. It's incredible. Here's one last look at the bridge. So this video is getting kind of long, so I'm going to end it here. I just want to thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please check out my other videos. Please subscribe. Until next time, bye.